coding made easy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to your next C++ SPML 2.0 tutorial. And this tutorial, we're just gonna be um, adding. We're gonna make it our code a bit better from our last tutorial. Uh, to start this off, we're gonna add the vector class right here, and I'm just gonna change this right here to um, intermediate. Now. The way we had it before is that we specified our map as 100 by 100. We specified it that large because we didn't know how large or how small our map was going to be. And if we modified our map in our file, well, we would have to modify this as well and, and it would just be a pain in the butt. That's why we just made it really, really, really big. But we're just using unnecessary space. So we only want to allocate space that we actually need rather than um, allocating an excessive amount of space on our server or not server on our game I've been uh, I've been working with like websites too long okay so um, anyways what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make uh, a vector of vectors and if you haven't learned about vectors or multi-dimensional vectors then you can always check out my C++ made easy HD tutorial um, and we check out SF vector 2i and we'll call this map so we can get rid of this right here and to add to this vector we need to have a temporary vector so we'll just call this um so be a vector of vector two eyes and we'll just call it temp map okay so in here once we do uh once we get the values and such we'll just add it to temp map dot push back and right here we will put temp map dot push back and right in here if open file dot peak so if we reach a new line what we're gonna do is say map dot push back temp map and we'll say temp map dot clear we can get rid of this we can get rid of this right here and we can get rid of load counter up here so in the draw section what we're gonna do is we're going to say um, hmm, oh sorry map dot size map I dot size so let me just explain everything right now so we're gonna add our uh, we're gonna search through a line we're gonna add that line to our uh, we're going to add that line to our temp vector or to our temp map and um, once we reach a new line we're going to add our temp map to our actual map and we're going to clear it and we're going to uh, continue doing what we're doing so um, when we get to our drawing we're going to draw to our map size and uh, in here we're going to drop to our map size um, uh, to our map i dot size so if we run this as we can see our map is drawn sideways or inverted or whatever terminology you want to use oh sorry um the, the reason why the reason why um, it's drawing the map inverted is because um, it's still it's just the way that we're we're, we're drawing everything. Um, the thing is that um, if we look at it this way, when we say map dot size, right, that is initially giving us how many um, how many rows are within our map. So it's basically looking at it like this. So uh, this is the first row, second row, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth, right? And when we say map i dot uh, size, this is actually getting what is within that row, okay? So when we look at our code right here, when what we're doing is we're saying when we say tiles dot set position, we're saying i times thirty two j times thirty two. So remember, i represents the uh, the uh, row number or column, whatever you want to specify. It. So the 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 row number that we're specifying, and uh, 
map i dot size represents the number within that row right so what we're doing is that let's say i is equal to zero j is equal to zero we're going to specify the first tile at zero zero right then we're going to check for the next one now before when we were drawing our tile maps it was drawing it like it was scrolling through it like so but now with our vectors it's scrolling it through it like this so now j represents the x coordinate and i represents the y coordinate so in order to draw correctly what we have to do is just change this to j changes to i that's all we got to do so let's run this so as you can see it does it properly but if, as we notice there's no grass at the bottom now the reason why there's no grass at the bottom is because we notice when we said oh if open po file peak equals whatever well we didn't check for the end of the file so um for the last line it's not going to add the last line to our map so what we have to do is just right here we just have to say map dot push back temp map just run this And as you can see, we got our grass tile drawn to the screen. So now we have an even more effective way in handling to draw maps. Now this is the this is not the most effective. There are more effective ways. Um, like um, instead of grabbing individual tiles, we can grab a whole line and separate it by a delimit delimiter. Uh, we can set it that we remove trailing spaces and and pre spaces or whatever you like to call it um and one thing is that one big fault is that since we're using chars or characters to store these values if we do a value such as 10 or something like that it won't be able to pick it up right it only can pick up single characters and that's one major flaw so we're going to be looking to how to fix those in um, in the tutorials coming after this so look for the more advanced tutorials coming up soon So that, thanks for watching this. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at coding made easy uh, Don't forget to like me on Facebook on Google Plus uh, Don't forget don't forget to visit the website post on the forum check out everything Don't forget to comment rate subscribe and bye for now